first, let's take a look at a pitch car. Pitch car is a game where you can customize the track. And it has several expansions to help you do just that. It's what you call a dexterity game, which requires hand-eye coordination to play it successfully. If you flick too soft, you might not make it up that ramp. But if you flick too hard, the car might just go off the ramp and crash into the fiery boom. First, let's start with a couple quick tips on assembling your tracks. Pitch car uses red rails to keep your car from going off the road. But when assembling your track, consider placing your rails so it overlaps tracks. That way it help it keep it together and level. And if you use the stunt car or speed and jump expansions, if your tracks are going to be there for a while, then I might consider using painter's tape. This will help keep the ramps and the overpasses together. Finally, if you want a speedier game, consider sprinkling your tracks with carom powder. Carom is a much older flicking game, and carom powder is used on that game to help reduce friction. But what exactly is considered a flick? In the rules, it says you use any of your fingers to flick. And in the sample picture, shows the use of the thumb and the middle finger. We advise caution with this approach to avoid any unfortunate miscommunications. Based on the rules and images in the instructions, we would conclude to place any finger held back by another finger. And when one finger is removed, the second finger is propelled forward, striking the disc, sending it flying. There are three ways to play pitch car. In the original standard rules, you first have a qualifying heat, as it's called. Players try to complete the course in as few flicks as possible to determine who goes first. To play, you just flick your car and try to stay on the road. If your car goes off the road or turns over, you go back to where you last pitched it, and then the next player goes. Also in the standard rules, if you knock another player's car off the road, both your car and their car go back to where they first were, then it's the next racer's turn. The player that crosses the finish line first after three laps is the winner. If you're playing multiple races, players receive points based on how they placed. In first place, they would have got 10 points, second place, eight points, third place, six points, the fourth place, five points, and on down the line. The Pursuit. This is either for two players or for teams. In the rules, it says players must be separated by eight tracks. So if you're playing the Pursuit game, you probably want to avoid having the track over 16 pieces. What you do in the Pursuit game is you're trying to catch up to the other player. And to win, you just pass the other player. If you're playing the team version, the team member that the car is passed is removed from the game. This continues until there's only one racer remaining. The trash variant is the preferred play style of the gamers grind. It plays similarly to the standard rules as we previously mentioned, except that you can make the other racers go off the track. And if you do, their car goes back to where you last flicked. And if your car overturns, it stays where it's at. But on your next turn, all you can do is flip your car back up, and it's the next player's turn. Now, if that only came out with the combat car variant. You've been watching the Gamers Grind Show. The Gamers Grind is located at 6326 Main Avenue in Orangevale, California. Be sure to like us on Facebook, visit our website, and of course, come on down and play some games off the wall.